So we got trade season starting to heat up. The trade winds are blowing in. So let's talk about who we're trying to trade for right now, Rank. I think Kyle Pitts is a guy that I'm looking at that I really want to start to acquire from some panicky individuals. And you know who you are. Listen, don't think that it goes unnoticed on Twitter or anything like that. Everybody's everybody's panicking because he's had a couple of bad games. Now, number one, he has traditionally struggled against the New Orleans Saints. So that wasn't a shock. As a matter of fact, we even called him the beware that week and told you not to. Well, I guess you have to start him. And then he played the Rams. Rams are pretty good. I don't know. Was I was I mistaken? I was sitting next to you at the Super Bowl. We saw that game. Yeah, they played. The Rams are a good team. They were in that game. They I were there. That. I think so that's a good team. I, I, I think, listen, if it goes a while and we don't see the results, then we can start to panic. But right now, take advantage of it because there's some panicky people out there. Yeah, I would also say take advantage of some panic because J.K. Dobbins has still yet to play. And I think some of the believers uh, that were waiting might be getting tired of waiting. The roster spot is burning a hole in their pocket. So send them an offer. Maybe a Daryl Henderson, maybe a Kenneth Walker. The reward is so tantalizing. A guy, again, six yards per carry back in 2020. We were robbed of his sophomore season. Whenever he gets back on the field, I think it makes the offense different. I think it makes Lamar better. I think J.K. Dobbins is a player that's going to help you win a fantasy championship on down the road. I think late season, he's going to be that guy that everybody wishes they had on their roster. Uh, I'm going to say the same thing for C.D. Lamb. And I know that we had high hopes for him. And once Dak Prescott got hurt, I feel like fantasy Twitter was pretty crestfallen about the outlook for C.D. Lamb. And I know there are a lot of folks who are sort of concerned about what his lot in life is going to be with Cooper Rush. I'll tell you for, from where I sit, nothing really has changed for Lamb in terms of his participation, in terms of his usage. Cooper Rush has two career starts, and the thing we've learned is he will target his top receiver. We saw it last year with Amari Cooper. We saw it this past week with C.D. Lamb. But if there's somebody out there who's a little bit nervous, maybe you float an offer. See if they're willing to part with C.D. Lamb right that was, now. Because that was me. Is it? <laughs> I bounced him. I got James Robinson. I'm like, I'm not. I actually think that's, that's a pretty good I'm not dealing with this. Anymore. But once that comes back, I was back, talked I into fine. it. 